this is the question of 2012 october november paper one two and the question number is uh, 10. it says that uh, the dotted line shows the path of a competitor in a ski jumping competition so this is the skier so the slope is somewhat like this and from here uh, he or she jumps off to land at Q. Ignoring air resistance, which graph best represents the variation of a speed V? Speed V with the horizontal distance X cover from the start of his jump at P before landing at Q. So we have to have a graph of velocity along with this X. So in this case, uh, let us uh, first remember that uh, the velocity here will be uh, maximum, of course. It will decrease up to here, decrease gradually here, and again will increase here. And the velocity here should be more than the value here. So here it will be lowest. So let us say this, uh, uh, this point is the top point is T. So velocity at P is uh, high, high. Velocity at T is uh, lowest lowest because in any projectile the velocity at the highest point should be lowest because only the horizontal velocity remains and the vertical velocity uh, decreases to zero there and vq will, should have the highest value highest value so if i go through these uh, choices uh, choice number a can be avoided because uh, it shows that uh, the velocity in the beginning uh, is uh, uh, slightly less uh, at T it is highest and uh, at Q it is lowest. So this cannot be possible. Another choice that we can avoid is choice number C because it says that at the highest point the velocity is zero. So what actually happens here is here the vertical velocity is zero but the horizontal is not. So that's why this is also not possible. Now the remaining choices are remaining choices are choice number B and D. Now if I go through simply the transition of velocity here is is smooth transition that means the velocity does not uh, change with a jerk so this uh, graph shows that the velocity changes here with a jerk at t there is just some sort of jerking motion according to the nature of the graph shown here so this is also not possible so what is happening here is the change of velocity is gradual it goes and decreasing goes to least value and then again increases so choice number d should be the correct answer so it, if you even if you don't know the pattern of the equation you can apply these techniques to know the answer here